Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this video of the kids ministry at Acts Community Church. We hope that this will help you as you're teaching your kids and family to follow Jesus. You can support Acts by making a donation on your phone. We've made giving very easy for you. Just text Acts Community to 77977. Once you do that, you'll get a reply. Click the link, enter your details, choose the amount, how often you'd like to donate, choose your payment method, and give. Know that we're praying for you and the community during this season. Don't forget to check out our website at axcommunitychurches.org to stay up to date on what's going on in Axe. Thanks again, and we hope that this video will encourage you to take part in building God's kingdom. Guys, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, thank you for tuning in. Today's lesson for the kiddos is going to be about Jesus and the doubter. It's going to be taking place whenever God has risen um, in three days and he has shown himself to the disciples. So the disciples were, you know, like, hallelujah, Jesus is risen. Um, amen. And all of them had, you know, were just so happy and so thrilled. But one disciple was not with them. It was Thomas. He did not believe that God had risen. He had said, you know, like, hey, I don't believe it. I, I, you know, I didn't get to see him with my own eyes. I, I don't believe. Um, and the disciples kept telling him, you know, God was here. He is risen. You know, hallelujah. Yes. Amen. And Thomas did not. He said the only way that he was going to believe was if he was to see Jesus' hands and his sides uh, for whenever he was on the cross. And eight days after, you know, all that had happened, Jesus appeared to all the disciples. You know, they were in fellowship in a room that was, you know, with closed doors. You know, God just appeared. And he had shown himself to Thomas. You know, he said, peace be with you. And he showed him his palms. You know, he showed him his sides, you know, from whenever he was crucified. And, you know, Thomas was like, yes, Lord, you know, like, uh, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is God. And, uh, you know, he believed, you know. But remember, you know, with, with being Christian, you know, we have to have the faith. And, you know, we just, you know, we believe, you know, that God has, is here with us, you know, with us, you know, in our time. We've never seen Jesus, you know, but we've seen his, his, we've seen his works. We've seen, you know, the power that he has, you know, in our lives, you know, we're, we're all still here. Um, and in the video that you guys are about to watch, you guys are going to see, you know, a really good story about Thomas and how he stops doubting God and he believes. Thomas was one of Jesus' disciples, but he was not with the others when Jesus visited them. The other disciples kept telling him, we have seen Jesus, but Thomas doubted. He said, I don't believe you. I want to see and touch the holes in his hands and his side, or I will never believe. Eight days later, and the disciples were indoors again. This time, Thomas was with them. Even though the doors were locked, Jesus came in and stood among them. He said, peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Reach out and touch my side. Don't be an unbeliever, believe. Whoa. Thomas did believe. My Lord and my God, he said. Jesus said, because you have seen me, you have believed. Those who believe in me without seeing me are blessed. Thomas saw Jesus for himself. He saw that Jesus had been raised from the dead and was alive. He saw Jesus' scars from the cross where Jesus died for our sins. We have not seen Jesus, but Jesus said, if we believe in him without seeing him, we are blessed. Did you guys like the video? Yeah, that was pretty cool too. So let's go on to our big picture question. For those of us who are believers, you know, we all have the same mission. Do you guys remember what it was from last week? Because our mission is, um, as believers, to make disciples out of all nations um, by the power of the Spirit. So basically for us, you know, if we feel in our hearts, you know, that we need to tell others and just tell anybody, you know, we can be walking down the street, we can walk in, you know, outside and be like, hey, 
mom, dad, I want to tell that person about Jesus. You know, I want to tell you about Jesus. And if your parent says, you know, like, hey, let's go. You know, just go and pray for them. Or just ask them, be like, hey, can I tell you about God? You know, if they say no, I respect that. I'm going to pray for you when I get home. Yeah. <laughs> so our scripture verse is 1 Corinthians 15, 3, 4. I pass on to you as most important what I, I also received that Christ died for our sins accordingly to the scripture, that he was buried, and that he was uh, raised on the third day accordingly to scripture. Let's say that one more time. I pass on to you as the most important that I also receive, that Christ died for our sins accordingly to the scripture, that he was buried, and that he was that he was raised on the third day according to scripture. 1 Corinthians 15, 3, 4. So, let's also move on to some of our reflection questions from the video. Let's see if you guys remember it. So, our first question is, um, do you guys remember who didn't believe that God was was alive? Do you guys remember who just didn't believe that Jesus was here? Do you guys remember? Because it was Thomas. If you thought Thomas too, you're right. <laughs> um, let's go on to question number two. How many days... Has it been since Jesus appeared to the disciples? The question, the answer to that was eight days. Um, let's go to question number three. What did Jesus say to the disciples when he appeared? Do you remember what it was? It was peace to you. Amen, if you got it right. <laughs> um, question number four is what did Jesus show Thomas? He showed him his hands and his sides. You know, for remember he, you know, they had to, on the cross, you know, they had to pierce his hands with that. Um, and do you guys remember, um, did, did Thomas believe after, you know, God had shot him and he, the answer is yes. And he said, Jesus is the Lord and Jesus is God. And then the last question is, what is something about God you sometimes doubt about? Like, do you guys ever doubt um, if something ever bad happens to you? If you get in trouble at home, be like, Jesus doesn't love me. <laughs> I got trouble with mom and dad. Well, you know, maybe you should have been doing that. You know, whatever you were doing, you know, fighting with your siblings, you know, and you get in trouble. I know when I was younger, that used to happen to me a lot. Um, or whatever now, even now, like whenever um, I had trouble at home, you know, anything. I'm like, Jesus, why? <laughs> but, you know, you got to follow the rules. All right, so let's go to our gospel-centered questions. Um, do you guys believe in Jesus? Um, sometimes, you know, we act like Thomas and, you know, we have doubts and, you know, we, you know, we lose, you know, our faith in Jesus, you know, um, and Jesus loved Thomas, you know, he loves all of us, you know, by that he was showing grace, um, and allowing Thomas to feel his wounds and, um, just be like, hey, I'm here. Um, and we don't get to see Jesus, um, with our eyes yet, you know, until he returns, um, and we also, you know, just have to have the faith. And Jesus said, you know, to those who believe without seeing are blessed. And, you know, that's something that we all got to have. And so far, you know, we're living it. You know, we haven't seen him, you know, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to see him soon or we're not going to see him later. You know, God's going to come back for all of us one day. All right. Well, that's the end of our class, you guys. So let's get ready for our activities. Let's go. You guys, so for our activity, we're going to be doing pictures. Oh, my Achilles. Um, so you guys are just gonna need paper. You guys can use markers, you guys can use color pens, crayons, anything that you guys would like. Um, and my helpers, you know, my doggies, Lucy and Achilles, they did these pictures. So Achilles did his paws and he wanted to remember, you know, from the scripture or from the lesson, you know, that God had holes in his palms. Um, and we don't really need to feel those, you don't need to see them, you know, we just gotta believe and, you know, because we're gonna draw that. And then Lucy drew this, you know, the I believe, you know, she believes. <laughs> and then for me, I did a picture, you know, I did whenever God was showing uh, Thomas his palms and his side, you know, you got Thomas being like, oh, and then you know, him saying, you know, my Lord, my God. And then, you know, she was saying, those, uh, those that believe without seeing are blessed. That's basically all you need. You, know, you just gotta, you know, get some paper and just, you know, draw something that, you know, that will help you remember, you know, this lesson, you know, for you guys today.
um, I know my dogs, you know, they were, they were here listening to the lesson and, you know, they were happy. They were howling. You guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.